Hello and welcome to another Cardfight Vanguard unboxing, today with V Clown Collection Volume 2. And yeah, this is another of the the Vanguard boxes I bought in a yeah, in a sale in a German shop who got uh, rid of their inventory of Cardfight Vanguard. Because yeah, for some reason like Cardfight Vanguard never really I don't know what's about Cardfight Vanguard in the past, but not looking like it's has like any scene or tournament. Maybe some people are collecting it in Germany, uh, but yeah, in, in general, it's like not really alive. Uh, but yeah, I know that it's still like, especially in in Asia, that a lot of people uh, play and collect Vanguard. So yeah, sometimes I read, especially like from. Americans that like Vanguard is dying or something like this, but I, I don't really think it's dying like at least from from what I see uh, online I I don't think that it's even close to not being relevant. I think it's just not in the vet and in, in the West like where where I live and where yeah maybe the people who make these comments live. Okay, it's a spinal driver. It's a little bit looking like like a spinosaurus, but at the same time it's like a little bit like a stegosaurus because of the blades. That's a cool design when I find my my focus point. <laughs> so yeah, I my guess is that it's that this is a reprint set. I I still don't know how to how to play Cardfight Vengas and at this point I don't really think that I want to look into it. Like I I decided to focus on V Cross and maybe on Grand Archive. It depends a little bit how how accessible it is here in Germany, if I can get product and if I have money for it. <laughs> but yeah maybe over the the next month. So at least like V Cross is pretty much my my focus now but yeah i i will open the rest i think i have one more oh one more older set and uh, i think i have one recent re I, I think one box from this year like a reprint set who is this he gives me like ancient egypt vibes uh i'm yeah i have a special binder for ancient egyptian artworks and i Try to collect uh, ECG cards from very much different, or from a lot of different TCGs. So I'm always looking a little bit for for some details like hieroglyphs or yeah some pharaoh card designs. I think I've got I've got a few card fight Vanguard cards, but I think they were like older ones. But yeah, I'm always happy. Like maybe if you who's watching this uh, is pretty deep into Cardfight Vanguard and maybe you know a lot of the the cards and you have a have some cards in mind which future ancient Egyptian uh, symbols or characters. Like let me know in the comments. I'm always very thankful for that. Werewolf Ketzer. That's a German word. Maybe it's a, a English word too. Oh, that's so yeah, the art, man. The the art in Cardfight Vanguard is just too good. The art style and uh, and that's so beautiful. And yeah, and it's not really like like sometimes even like V Cross is too loot for me. I like how yeah, the, Cardfight Vanguard is like. You can show them your parents or your grandma. Not super uh, suggestive or anything. I really like this about Cardfight Vanguard. I just wish that the cards were bigger, like Pokemon, not these, uh, not the Yu-Gi-Oh size. And these are like mini pandas. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I think so far I only pulled triple rares if I haven't talked over talked over the hit. 
in the past it was like one I guess one SP per box is there like a ratio so yeah triple rares is the base rarity uh, VSR Vanguard secret rare and SP so yeah my guess is that uh, there's probably a, a SP guaranteed and steam scara there are some there's like a tribe uh, which is steampunk design. I've noticed it before, like in another box. Looks very cool, the, the steampunk art scene. Uh, Witch Doctor and Succubus of Pure Love. Okay. Yeah, but even this, even a, a Succubus is not uh, crazy suggestive or Lutron. I pretty much like that. Maybe if I if I get bored at some point I, I could take a look into Vanguard, but yeah. It's the same with B cross like in, in my region it's not like anyone is playing, so I, I have to play online. So I guess I could do this with V cross too. Uh with V cross with Vanguard too. So far, I just haven't looked into how to play the game. Maybe before my next unboxing, I will. There's probably a lot of content uh, on YouTube with like how to play it. Okay. Like the headgear is pretty much looking like a like the Pharaoh headgear too. Looks inspired from it. That's cool. Yeah, but I like I don't like these humanoid dragons. That's like one one thing in in many. I like the perspective of this one. Uh, with many Japanese TCGs that they have these like half not half human but mixed like the dragon kin characters and yeah, I I'm not really into that. Don't really like the dragons, but I don't have to play them. And that's like a samurai dragon. It's always cool when the, the character is pretty dark or the armor is pretty dark. And in the background there is like the moon because of the, the contrast. That looks... I've seen this multiple times, but it, it always looks cool. Black Call Nakia. So three more packs for this. For this box, that's that's a cool falcon. Place foresight, another dinasty top. So I like a triceratops, but in the future, <laughs> drag wizard, Mokia dragon. Uh, okay. Like a, a fox ninja. That's interesting. What the the face of the fox looked like very much realistic and not very anime like. Sometimes they have like these this art style mix. Cat Butler. Pirate Sportsman again, like this uh, upper perspective. Looks really cool. Lady Battle of White Dwarf. So last pack magic, it should be. Maybe or maybe there is like no no guaranteed SP. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Uh, Pirate Vampire. Levion Krasa. Or I overlooked it. Like I I didn't notice it. Okay, or maybe it's just like really a all triple rare box. Oh, I overlooked it. I just, yeah, man, I'm stupid. I would check real quick and if there was like maybe another pull I didn't saw. Yeah. Yeah, we see some some texture here. 
like the clothing and the I don't know the wings, not the wings. Oh, there's some texture in the background too. Blade wing, ragey, like a vampire guy. So yeah, we got a Aspian. It's a little bit curved, but now let's end with a force of will pack as always. To see if I can get my secret rare at some point. Not. That's a cool, cool artwork anyway. Has some texture too. Gives me like some emo goth vibes. So yeah, thank you for watching. And for more TCG unboxings, please check out my channel. Bye.